Hey guys, it's Cyclone. How you doing? Um, I wanted to bring you a beer review today. It's just going to be a quick one. This is a Jack Abbey's uh, beer. Now, Jack Abbey is a local favorite around here, um, but they're not world class in my humble opinion. They are solid, foundational craft beer. They're good. They make good stuff. But of their offerings, their best is arguably the Framing Hammer which is their Imperial Stout series. Now this is their coffee bourbon barrel aged stout. Now I've had a couple versions of this Framing Hammer. I've had the original and I've had the, I believe the, the, the Chile and the vanilla, but I've never had the coffee. Now, one big glaring problem already is I don't see a date anywhere on here. That's a big problem, guys. Um, look, look, Abby, I know you guys are local, but this is unacceptable. You guys need a dating machine. And I don't care if it costs you some money to get into the real beer game. This is why I don't buy their beer that often. There is a code on the bottom of the bottle, and it's very hard to make out. It could be in that code. Um, but, guys, I don't know what the codes mean. It's like it's like eight digits long. I don't Just give me a friggin' vintage or date, would you? Come on, guys, it's a coffee stout. So already we have a bit of an issue, no date. Again, I don't buy their stuff very often, but I wanted to try to see if this coffee stout had any sort of merit to it, if it was something that would ever pique my interest again, you know? Um, otherwise, I will keep this on the shelf next time. But let's, uh, let's see what we get. I am smelling some nice roasted characters. A 45 IBU stout, it's not, it's pretty, Pretty strong on the on the bitter notes. The beer looks nice coming out. I will say that probably a medium bodied look. Definitely not lightweight, but also not the thickest stout I've ever seen visually. We'll see how it tastes. Obviously, um, pitch black. Definitely solid carbonation, guys. Finger over a finger of head in there. Okay, and there's no. It's pitch black. There's no light coming through at all. Maybe the slightest hue of brown light at the bottom, but it's very, very faint. Let's get a nose on this. Nice, dark chocolate notes in there. Uh, definitely the bourbon maltiness is coming through. It's some of that, you know... Some of that sweet malt. It's kind of a... Almost like a, what's, what's the uh, analogy? Like a, like a waffle cone type of, of a scent. You get a little bit of the roasted malt, but it's actually kind of subdued, guys. I've, I have smelled coffee beers that blow my nose off my face. And Trillium is one of the key examples I go by. I've had those mega coffee beers. The bubbles look great on this beer. I have to say, tons of varying sizes and not a lot of light. So it, it does seem like there's quality in the, the bottle. Um, let's get a taste on it though. I'm, I'm curious to see if this holds up or if this is disappointing in any case. So let's, let's, let's try it. That's not disappointing at all. Tons of flavor. Tons of flavor. Wow. Wow. The 45 IBUs are showing themselves. There was almost this pretzel-like taste in the, in the malt profile. Like a chocolate-covered pretzel. Wow, those those IBUs, man, they are strong. I mean, they're they're kicking it up to a million. Um, uh, big soapy bubble, big soapy bubbles. Wow. Um, I do taste the bourbon. Taste the IBUs. They're 
and I do taste some coffee. I wonder if that's adding to the bitterness, and it might be. Um, it's a pretty solid beer, I have to say. I think it's my favorite of the series. Um, I was wondering if the coffee would add that oomph that I was looking for, and it may have. Um, a solid beer, really solid. Um, again, we're at... Um, I think we're at 10% alcohol. Hey, where is that information? Hang on. Uh-oh. We don't have alcohol on here either? We only have the IBUs? Hmm. We're missing two pieces of information, guys. Hmm. Again, this was me to... I was just trying to get a feel for if I felt like this beer was elevated to maybe we're getting closer to that you know mid 90s to world class rating i wanted to see if this coffee stout had those those notes in there because i've had some framing hammers and they're they're not the best beer i've ever had but i wanted to see the coffee one because coffee is is one of my favorite stout flavors i mean a good coffee stout you can always win me over with a good coffee stout um so for me guys uh this is Arguably the best of the Framing Hammer line that I've had so far. I am disappointed of the missing information. I mean, these guys are not... These guys are all over the place here uh, in Massachusetts. So they need to figure out their their plan. you got to date it. you got to put the ABV on there. Unless their ABV is never the same. Tasty beer. Big bourbon notes. Big. Big, big time bourbon. And the coffee, it's in there. It's not, there's, it kind of like the back of your tongue coffee taste. Nice mouthfeel. This is a solid beer, guys. I have to be, I'm just telling you what's in the bottle. Um, I am impressed, except for the missing information. So let me come back and I'll give you my final thoughts in just a bit. Hey everyone, I am back here with the Coffee Bourbon Barrel Aged Framing Hammer by Jack Sabby. Um, guys, it's a very, very well-made beer, but the bottle is lacking a ton of information. Uh, we have the IBUs, and that's about it. No ABV and no date on a coffee stout. That's a big no. Big no. So guys, my rating after really considering it, and this is this is bourbon on bourbon. This bourbon is off the charts, guys. Wow, that's so strong. It's a good strong. It's a, it's a good bourbon strong. It's not nothing unpleasant. Your mouth is lit up with bourbon taste and, and hops and some coffee roast. It's, it's alive. The beer is very lively in your mouth. And then a nice bourbon, slightly hoppy aftertaste. Um, there's some dark chocolate in here and even a slight, maybe pumpernickel-like taste. If you, you know what I'm talking about, that kind of dark bread taste. Um, and then the, the, the lingering, there's a lingering on there. Guys, this is a fantastic bourbon barrel aged stout, but it's missing information, key information. So it's priced well, but it's missing the, the stuff I want. So for me, I mean, it's a pint and a half. And it cost me 10 to 12 bucks. I think 12 bucks. I mean, a pint and a half for 12 bucks for a beer that tastes like this, it's pretty good. Pretty good. But it's missing the data. 95. 95A. Solid A beer. This is, if you like bourbon and you like dark beer, you should pick this one up if you can. 
if you're local, like I am, maybe you're going to be better off because it doesn't ship that far. Um, it's the only thing I'm going off of here. The bourbon notes will not disappear. They're super prevalent. The hoppiness also adds to that strength of the beer. Again, very mouth, strong mouth presence here. Um, breath clearing. Like any other any other food on your breath, this is going to dominate the, dominate it out of your mouth. Um, so let's take a look at Beer Advocate's rating for this. I think it's going to be one of their better beers. Here. 4.32 Baltic Porter. Wait a minute. Yep. It's actually a Baltic Porter. 4.32. That's actually quite a solid score on Beer Advocate. I do not disagree whatsoever. It's missing the data. We need the data. Come on, Jax Abbey. It's a coffee porter. Even though I think it's a stout. It's a, it's a big dark beer, 10%. I mean, guys, this beer has more bourbon on it than most 12 plus percent porters and stouts. And the mouthfeel is still like a stout. The IBU might throw some people off. It is a little bitter. But for me, I like it here because it adds to the coffee bitterness. Because the coffee here is not that. How do I want to put this? The coffee here is a little bit more like a bitter coffee than it is an earthy, roasty coffee. If you know what I'm saying. The coffee is back here. It's not up front. It's back here. So the coffee and the hops are kind of adding their own layer together. Whereas the mouth, and the, it's a bourbon. So that's, that's it. I think it's a 95. I, I think Beer Advocate has a pretty accurate score as well. Um... I mean, this guy says it's missing some barrel character. Must have had an old bottle because, fuck. This one must be pretty fresh, uh, I would assume. It's, it's pretty damn strong. And I, I, drink, I drink my bourbons, my, my, you know, vodkas, whatever. I drink hard stuff. Uh, and this has good bourbon presence. Oh, yeah. Um, good stuff. Anyway, guys, Cyclone signing out. I'll see you next time.